And I think that this next question from Parker Sampson is a good one. Um, he says, I need more details about the Mitchell Schwartz injury. You and everybody else, buddy. Uh, how yeah. bad is it? <laughs> what is it exactly? And are we holding him out until the playoffs? Um, there are some notes I want to say quickly before I ask you guys this question. Um, he, Fisher did not practice today. He is eligible to come off the injured reserve as of Wednesday. Um, also, who did not practice? Mike Rimmers did not practice. He's got Both a tight tackles. back. No. Eric Fisher did not tackle or did not practice. He's a tackle. <laughs> he did not practice. He definitely didn't tackle. He didn't tackle either. Also, Damian Wilson uh, did not practice either. He's got a knee contusion, which I think that's a fancy word for a bruise. I'm not a doctor. I don't know. Um, yeah. And but Byron Prinkle did practice. Um, he's eligible Good. to come off, or he's Ooh. still on the IR, but he'll be eligible soon to come off the injured reserve. But the Mitchell Schwartz injury is big because you know I think that in his opening statement, read on his Wednesday press conference, did not mention Schwartz. And somebody followed up and said, "Hey, um, what about Pringle and Schwartz? They're practicing." He just said uh, Pringle did, Schwartz did not. Um, so we don't know how severe this Mitchell Schwartz injury is. It's a back injury. He hasn't played since Buffalo, so you can assume that it's severe. Um, and I always go back to that Buffalo game. If he would have just sat out from the beginning, do you think it would have been better? Um, I don't know if he would have, if he tweaked it or re-entered it in that Buffalo game or, or what I the think deal it was, is. It was something he was dealing with, I think, earlier that yeah. wasn't really talked about. And frankly, like, I'm not really a pessimist. Like, I try to just look at stuff as it is. But I don't expect Schwartz to play this year. I, I don't expect him to come back. They would have been talking about it like it would have at least been an Eric Berry day-to-day -day type thing where Reed would at least address it and yeah. say he's getting out there thinking about getting some work. Dude's just like chilling. Like I'm sure he's rehabbing or doing something or taking it easy and trying not to aggravate his back, but he's a tackle. Like back injuries stuck at any position, but especially as a right tackle on the wrong side of 30. So do I think that – it's premature to like say his career is over. Yes, I do. Because we don't know anything about what's going on, but do I think it's premature to say we probably won't see him this year? I, that's what I'm going with right now. Yeah. Yeah. All three tackles having back injuries are, that's, is, bad. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, that's pretty bad. Um, yeah. Especially the saints defensive line against saints defensive line. Cause they're actually <laughs> very good. Yeah. So uh, it's just, you would expect them to say more about him if he was coming back this year. Mm -hmm. um, they yep. said more about Eric Berry when he was injured than yep. Mitchell Schwartz this year. <laughs> and that's not a good thing because uh, we all know how the Eric Berry saga went. So yep. mm -hmm. I don't expect him. I, he's definitely not playing in the regular season. He might, mm -hmm. he might play in the playoffs, but I would put it below 50% right now. Yeah. Um, yep. So, and that's, that sucks for sure. But this is the best, um, way for him to actually maybe come back next year then they just have to do it because yep. that would be cheap to hold next year and if they can get back 2019 mitchell schwartz in 2021 then this is the best way forward um and this is if this is the only way to do it at least right so Agreed. Uh, i think we just have to wait for them to tell us because the chiefs mm -hmm. are always they're always quiet when the injuries are serious yeah. they just don't say anything about them um, mm -hmm. they didn't really say anything. I remember like when Justin Houston got injured, they kind of just stopped talking about him. Yep. Like ACL partial tear. Eric right. Berry, of course, we all know the Andy Reid, what just said he has a heel injury. That's all we knew mm -hmm. for that year. So um them being more quiet about this just tells me it's something that um he just probably can't play through this year. Right. Justin I Houston boys just wow. Yeah. His dude's killing it right now, though, in Indy. Wow. Big, um, big wow. Happy for him <laughs> out there. Wow. But uh, let's talk about some offensive line configurations. Everyone's favorite topic. Um, because <laughs> with three tackles out, um, you have to start uh, looking at the practice squad, potentially. Let me, take, let me take some antidepressants first, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, obviously, Stephen Wisniewski, he is an offensive guard, but they, I have heard some talks that – I, I don't like this, but Andrew Wiley could slide out to tackle. Um, yeah, he's got experience at the tackle position. Wiley could slide out there. I, I'm not saying that I endorse this. I'm just telling you what I've heard, okay? Um, so Wiley slides out to tackle. You call up Wisniewski. Uh, he comes in and fills that guard spot. 
But and then you have Rankin too. Rankin can play tackle, but you don't know where he is health wise. Yeah. He is off the pup list, but um, I'm not 100 percent sure. I think he is on the active roster. He was inactive the past couple uh, weeks, but um, so you've got a lot of different things that you can think about and do. You also have a. Uh, which Wiseman, um, Wiseman. Yeah. Brian. Winston. Yeah. Yeah. You have him could, could come up too. But the thing with those two guys is they've already had their two, um, game day call-ups from the practice squad. So either one of those two guys, when they get called up, they have to be added to the active roster. Um, so that could be interesting. Yeah. Well, there's already one player we could cut. We could just cut Ricky Seals Jones. Cause he never plays. So yeah, he's played one game. Hasn't he? Yes. He's he been active inactive for one game. Yeah. I think he dropped two passes. Yeah, he did. You want to hear something? I would. So a friend of the pod, Kent Swanson, tweeted, Mm -hmm. Witzman, Allegretti, Austin Ryder, Andrew Wiley, and Yasir Durant against one of the best defenses in the NFL would certainly be something. And he followed that by saying Mahomes could, like, pretty much distance himself in that MVP talk if he shredded the Saints with that offensive line. Like, that would be one of the worst things, like – and it, it could be a reality because, like, backs, you never know what way it's going to go. If yeah. Mahomes does shred the Saints D with that offensive line, I think that might be the most impressive thing he's done in, like, yeah. the like, season. Yeah, so, no, that would – You'd have to win the Super Bowl. Be like that. That. Yeah. But honestly, I also saw a funny uh, hot take. I'm like, now that you're reading that off, Tucker, I'm like, if Fisher and Rimmers are out, is this really that crazy? You, we just sit Mahomes for this game. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it is an that's NFC not game. a bad idea. Yeah, that this is game does game. not matter if the Chiefs wow. beat the Falcons and the Chargers. Protect so, Mahomes. Mm-hmm. I mean, they won't do that, obviously. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> it's just something to, that's funny to just think about. <laughs> you know, it's wow. just protect the franchise. And what yeah. do we have in front of the franchise if those two players, Fisher and Rivers, don't play? We have. Uh, undrafted guys we have sixth round seventh journeyman yeah journeyman um yeah so it's uh maybe ricky sills jones could play offensive line he could play tackle or something that that, be more action than he got all year keep him in the in (laughs) every in every snap keep him into chip he's basically (laughs) the 5.5 offensive line (laughs) We run a uh, max protect thing. Uh, yeah. Two tight ends, max protect. Uh, so yeah. they're going to be running Travis I, Kelsey out wide. It is Wednesday, so mm-hmm. that is Wednesdays true. Wednesdays usually, um, even if minor injuries, some players still have Wednesdays off. So mm-hmm. uh, if they don't practice tomorrow, Rimmers and Fisher, though, I will start to get worried. 